JoLynn Braley Show, episode number 265, The Truth About Secret Binge Eating. Welcome back to the JoLynn Braley Show, or welcome if this is your first time tuning in. I am JoLynn Braley, permanent weight loss coach, weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, the diet that actually works because it's not a food diet. It's not an exercise program. Instead, the Inner Self Diet heals the root of the real problem and The real problem is not the fat on your body. The real problem is not the food you're eating. The real problem is whatever it is that is at the root of your unhealthy, out of control eating behaviors. Whatever your disordered eating behaviors are, if it's binge eating, emotional eating, late night stuffing, compulsive overeating, food addiction, food obsession, food fear, whatever it is that keeps your body fat, okay? When you go to the root of what drives those unhealthy behaviors, then you will be free because then those unhealthy behaviors can be released and replaced with healthy lifestyle behaviors and then you can allow the fat to drop off and stay off because come on let's get real even though this is not a get real episode of the JoLynn Braley show I've got another one coming up next month but let's get real right now you already know that you're going to have to change how you eat and exercise all right you might not want to do it Because right now you don't have a weight loss mindset and you have not healed the root of the real problem. But logically, you know that in order to get to your ideal weight and maintain that for the rest of your life, you're going to have to be able to live a healthy lifestyle without a fight. All right? Because if you're fighting and struggling, to live a healthy lifestyle then that means that you're on some kind of a diet and it's not going to last it's not going to work on the other hand just imagine all right just imagine if you could do the things that logically you know you need to do and if it was not any big deal for you to do those things things like all right eating only when you're physically hungry stopping when you're physically full eating only the kinds of whole foods that really fuel your body at the optimum level so that it's really easy to release the fat from the body but also you feel really 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 good all right imagine if you actually enjoyed exercising and it wasn't a chore all right imagine if your binge eating your emotional eating your food obsessions your guilt, your shame, your body hate, your self hate. Imagine if those things were gone and if it was just a natural normal thing for you to live a healthy lifestyle, to plan your meals ahead, to get plenty of rest every night, deep rest, the right kind of sleep, enough sleep, to drink plenty of water every day. I shoot for a hundred ounces every day of just plain water. Okay, these are the logical things that make up a healthy lifestyle. Okay, regular cardio, strength training. These are the things that you know you need to be doing, but they feel impossible to do when you can't stop binge eating and you're hating yourself and you feel like a failure, you feel like a total loser, but you're not losing weight, right? And and then you're binge eating with the blinds shut and you 
are hoping nobody knows and you're just out of control but you keep telling yourself that Monday it will be different or New Year's Day it will be different or on the first of next month it will be different or after the holiday season it will be different or after the birthday party after 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 whatever and it never ends right because if you wait until New Year's Day well this right here is the January 25th episode of the JoLynn Braley show in 2018 hey those New Year's resolutions you you're not even thinking about that anymore are you those are done by January 14th at the latest because they don't work. It doesn't work unless you heal the root of the problem. Um, but what I was about to say there is if you tell yourself you're going to suddenly change on New Year's Day, well, and then that doesn't work, and then it's, oh, well, Valentine's is coming up, and I'm not going to be able to handle that without eating a whole bunch of chocolate, and, and then there's all this candy in the store that's on sale, and I've just got to have it, so I'll wait until after Valentine's Day. Well, now Easter's coming up. Oh, I've got to wait until last, after Easter. Oh, I'm going to take that cruise. I can't start anything new when I'm about to go on a cruise, so let's wait until after that. Let's wait until after the graduation open house, after the wedding, uh, after the birthday party. Well, now it's the 4th of July. I can't do anything on the 4th of July, right? So it's we, Let's just blow it all out and drink and eat and gorge and uh, you know, and oh, well, it's summertime, you know, uh, uh, how can I make any changes now? Well, all of, all of this stuff, this procrastination and everything, these are all just symptoms of a fat mindset. And a fat mindset is grounded in fear, attracting thoughts, F-A-T. And when, when you're dealing with that kind of a mindset, doesn't mean that you're a bad person or anything. It just means that you're not running the healthy inner self programming that you could be running that would make it really, really, really easy for you to live a healthy lifestyle no matter what time of year it is. All right? So how freaking cool would it be if you could stop the binge eating, if you could stop the emotional eating, if you could stop the struggle, and if you could just freaking live a healthy freaking lifestyle and then allow the fat to come off of your body and stay off because it just wouldn't be a big deal. Well, the only way that you're going to get that is by going about this from the inside out. The root of the real problem has to be healed. That's the work that I do with my coaching clients in the Inner Self Diet. And it's pretty freaking awesome. You know, I have had some coaching clients who I, I knew that they could do it, but I wasn't sure if they were going to do it because it's up to them. You know, I can only do what I can do to teach what I teach to give the guidance, to give the coaching, to give the mentoring, to help them stay accountable, and, and everything that I do when I'm personally and directly working with my awesome coaching clients in the Inner Self Diet. It, they have to take the action, though, with what I give them. And so what I was about to say there, I've had some clients who I, was, I wasn't totally sure if they were going to fully follow through because only they can do that, just like only you. Only you can take the action that you take in your life. Nobody else can do that for you. And, and you wouldn't really want them to, would you? you? You might think that you'd want other people to do stuff and take over for you, but you'd end up resenting it. You really would. So um, these folks that I, I wasn't totally sure if they were going to really commit to themselves and follow through, they did. And then they, they totally transformed. It's quite amazing. It's quite amazing. But anyway, yeah, I have been uh, coaching amazing, amazing people through my steps, my proven system in the Inner Self Diet since 2009. It works every time, but it doesn't work just to listen to me talk about it. it you know, you actually have to do it. You have to be in it. You got to do it. And that's the only way it works. Hey, if you're listening to me right now and you're like, would you just tell me, you know, can, how can I do this? How can I do this shit, right? <laughs> how can I get these 
freaking results that you're talking about. You know what? The first place that you need to start, you'd have to apply for a phone call with me because I work directly with my coaching clients. It's not the kind of thing where you do an online course and you're on your own. This is the real deal. My coaching clients achieve struggle-free weight loss in eight weeks or less. So it's, you know, um, maybe for some people it's kind of intense because it's such a big transformation in such a short amount of time when you consider that these problems start when you are a kid. All right, seven years old, five years old, 10 years old, however old you are or were when uh, you first started having any kind of struggles with food and your weight. And that's not hard for you to find that age. Uh, all you have to do is go back in time and you might not have even been overweight back then when all of this started, but you started having doubts about how you looked or maybe somebody said that you were fat and uh you know, this stuff starts in childhood. So the people that I work with, they've been struggling with these challenges for 10, 20, 30, sometimes 40 or more years. And to be able to go from that place of extreme struggle and feeling powerless and uh, depressed, um, to be able to go from that place to the place of, it is really not any big deal now for me to just do the healthy lifestyle stuff that is just part of living healthy and fit. To be able to do that in eight weeks or less is pretty amazing. Now, that does not mean that my coaching clients are at their ideal weight in you know, at the end of that time, because it depends on the person, you know, if they're carrying an extra 50 pounds, that's going to take a while to come off. So the most important thing, though, is that you fix the real problem, okay? Because once the real problem is fixed and your binge eating is gone, your emotional eating is gone, your self-doubt that drives you to overeat or your late night fears, your late night insecurities, whatever, you know, whatever is in this mix of what is keeping your body fat, okay? Once that stuff is healed, and then it's no big deal for you to do the healthy lifestyle things, then the fat will come off. But the fat takes time to come off. But you see, the thing is, is that once you have healed your inner self and you're on your healthy lifestyle path, the impatience is gone too. It's really cool. Because then when you get to that point, it doesn't matter that you're dropping one to two pounds of fat per week or whatever is healthy for your body. It doesn't matter that you aren't instantly at your ideal weight because you're already there on the inside. And then you're just doing the things on the outside that will match up your body with who you become on the inside. You know what? Even as I'm talking right now, I'm thinking, and I have no idea who you are. I have no idea what level you're at of self-awareness, but these things that I'm saying right now, they're only words to you because until you experience it, it, it's just words. The only thing that teaches is experience. Without having the experience and without doing the steps to get you to this place that I'm talking about, everything I'm saying is just words. But you can you can use your imagination and just imagine, you know, what would it be like if I really could be free of my ongoing food and weight struggles. And I'm sure that if you allow yourself to imagine that, you, you, you can see that it would be pretty freaking cool. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, oh, you know, if uh, you would actually like to do this, if you are excited, if you'd love to stop wondering why am I so smart and successful, but I've never been able to have that level of success with the food and weight topic, then your first step is to fill out an application to get on the phone with me. And it's a complimentary weight loss discovery session call. And the place you need to go to start that process is www.discovery-session.com, www.discovery-session.com. All right, so 
That was a pretty long intro there, but even with what I shared, I feel like the content I've shared right here is enough to give a person who is stuck in diet mentality a big ass aha moment. Because if you can just get a paradigm shift that there's a reason why all of those food diets you've done haven't worked. If you can just get the aha that you really can be free of this struggle, but you're not going to break free of it by doing another food diet on Monday. And that doesn't mean the food diet is bad. And it doesn't mean that the food diet is wrong. It only means that the food diet is not supposed to fix what made your body fat. Because what made your body fat isn't the food. Now, of course, you could say, well, it is the food because I can't stop eating. Well, the food is the tool that you have used to abuse yourself consciously or unconsciously. And yes, of course, I agree that eating mass quantities of food and also highly processed food, yes, it's going to make your body fat. I agree. But it's still not the food that is the problem. It's the root of what drives your food obsessions, your food addiction, your out-of-control eating, compulsive overeating, self-sabotage, binge eating, emotional eating. As soon as the sun goes down, running to Taco Bell or 7-Eleven because you got to get your fix. Whatever your patterns are, Okay, whatever your behaviors are, that's what has made your body fat. And that's the stuff that needs to be healed and transformed. Does that make sense? You getting it? And so a food diet doesn't fix that stuff. A food diet is only a recipe for how you could eat. If it's healthy, it will help you to you know, feed your body in a a healthier way. And it's a, a, a series of steps for people who really have no idea how to, uh, how to fuel themselves, you know? Um, and that doesn't mean that food diets are bad or wrong or anything like that. If they're healthy, they can help, but their job is not to fix the real problem. And that's why it doesn't matter how many food diets you do and how many times you start over on Monday, the real problem hasn't been fixed until you go about it from the inside out. So, wow, I don't think I've done any other podcast since January, uh, the first week of January 2013, where I've spent so much time just in the first part without even getting to the topic of the podcast. But I'm going to leave this as it is because I am certain that there is at least one person who will listen to this who will get an aha moment out of what I've shared and they'll say, shit man, that's why I can't stop eating because I haven't really addressed the real problem. And so I'm not stupid. There's nothing wrong with me. You know, I haven't done anything wrong. I just haven't use the the solution and the right solution that will fix the problem I have, you know, because the food diets aren't supposed to fix the problem that you've got, you know. The food diet, you want to only use that. That's only 7.2% of the equation. 92.8% of the equation is the inner self-healing, That's what 92.8% of the challenge is if you want to achieve permanent success with your weight, which means releasing the excess fat and keeping it off the rest of your life. If that's what you want, then you have to address what is 92.8% of the challenge, and that's all the stuff inside of you. And I don't mean your intestines or your stomach or your lungs, that's not what I mean. I mean all the stuff going on inside of you, right? Your your beliefs, your thoughts, your unhealthy fat 
thoughts, your fat thinking, your fat beliefs, your fear attracting thoughts, F-A-T, your fat identity, self-image, all of this different stuff that's going on inside of you. And that's all the work that I do in the Inner Self Diet. And that's why the Inner Self Diet is not a food diet. Um, and then when you get that stuff on the inside sorted out, then you will be free. Okay, so what about today's topic? The truth about binge eating in secret. What is the truth? Okay, here's the truth. Everybody knows what you're doing. It's not a secret. Doesn't matter how many Lee cheesecakes or boxes of donuts or multiple orders of Wendy's or uh, cookies, whatever it is, whatever it is that you binge on, special food that you can only buy during the holiday season, whatever it is, even though you're bringing that home and you're hiding out and you're isolating and you're eating in secret or you're buying all this food and you're eating in some parking lot alone in your car, whatever it is you're doing where you think that you are doing this secret binge eating because and the reason that you do that oh by the way hey you know why I can talk like I do because I've been there all right so everything that I share it's not like a, a judgment or anything like that because I've done all you know I've been there uh, so that's why I can talk like this because I know what it's like all right and all of this stuff it's only behavior and behavior can be changed your behaviors are not who you are all right if you if you say to yourself I am a binge eater now you got a big problem because you've taken on the identity of a binge eater when the truth is you have a binge eating behavior problem and the behavior can be changed it's two different things so all behaviors can be changed it's not a big deal when you're working with a five-star permanent weight loss coach who knows what the heck they're doing and um, so I just wanted to clarify that because if you didn't know that it might sound like uh, I don't know it could sound like maybe I was it, it was judgmental or lack of compassion or something for people who who binge eat in secret when that's not true because I've done this stuff um, okay so why do you binge eat in secret because of the shame because you don't want other people to know because uh, you are afraid you're afraid that if other people knew that they would look at you weird or think less of you and that shame I'll tell you what that shame will keep you freaking fat forever shame is the lowest emotional vibration that you can go to shame is lower than fear and the reason I'm sharing this with you and I hope you hear me is because if you don't take action to heal that shame you're going to be stuck dude you know um, and it's not bad if you stay stuck in the shame it just means that you're not going to uh, be struggle free with food in your weight and it's gonna be really it's not gonna feel good you know it just feels really painful and really heavy and life is not fun living there you know you know you know what I'm talking about so you binge eat in secret because you feel bad about what you're doing and you feel ashamed and you don't want other people to know but the truth about your secret binge eating is that everybody does know how do they know because they could see it they could see it on your body that's how they know it you can't keep it a secret unless you are a binge purger but that's a whole other ball of wax that's an even deeper eating disorder all right and then you're gonna ruin your teeth and your esophagus and oh, that's that's just that is even more self-destructive and um, self-hating and there's even more shame and that type of behavior and still 
it is a behavior and a behavior can be changed. Um, but that's not the type of behavior I'm talking about when I just say binge eating. Okay, binge eating is when you eat a whole bunch of food and you know it's too much food and the body doesn't have a way to use that food because it doesn't need all that fuel and so the body does the right thing that it's supposed to do it stores all that fuel as fat but then what happens is you're carrying around an extra 10 20 30 50 70 110 180 250 however many extra pounds of extra fuel you're carrying around and that creates a lot of stress emotionally mentally of course physically it just doesn't feel good does it you know it doesn't feel good if you're five pounds over your ideal weight if you have normally been at an ideal weight and then you end up gaining a lot of weight that's not comfortable so the big reveal to this topic here is that you can't get away with secret binge eating. Whatever it is that you're doing behind the blinds, everybody knows. So wouldn't it be a better thing for you? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this wouldn't be better for you. But if you want to have the life of your dreams and the body of your dreams and you really want to be happy you know feel good in your own skin wouldn't it be maybe a better route to take to start addressing what it is that is driving your secret binge eating and heal that shame that is keeping you in secret with the food and you know heal this stuff and you know what you could do now this is a physical step and it would take it would still take inner work to be able to do what I'm about to share with you but if you could make a commitment to yourself to stop overeating stop binge eating stop emotional eating in secret and make a commitment to yourself that going forward if you're going to have that dessert, if you're going to have that cake, if you're going to have whatever it is, you only do it out in public. And you'd have to make a decision, and this is really tough, if you especially if you're not if you're not doing daily action steps to heal your inner self, if you don't have a coach in your corner, if you don't have a five-star permanent weight loss coach who can help you through these things and give you the tools and give you the hope and the belief and the mentoring to help you move through the uncomfortable stuff that's going to come up, then uh, doing what I'm sharing with you, it will, it will be very challenging. But if you can make this commitment that any overeating, any binge eating, any eating of desserts, any anything like that, you're only going to do it in public from now on. And the other thing that goes along with this, you would have to make the decision that you're not going to give a rip what other people might think of you. So let's say that you're 100 pounds overweight right and so you make this commitment that going forward okay I refuse to apologize or feel ashamed of my overeating and if I'm going to overeat if I'm going to binge eat if I'm going to eat cake or cheesecake or cookies or chocolate I'm going to do it in public and I'm going to keep breathing and I'm going to maintain my focus on myself and notice if I even like the food I'm eating. Do I even like what I'm eating? Because maybe you'll find that you don't even like this stuff you're eating. You're just eating it because somebody told you that you couldn't have it or something else. I don't know. I, I don't know what is going on with you. I only know what's going on with my private inner self diet coaching clients because I have two-way communication with them. 
So um, I highly recommend that you get coaching if you really want to work through this stuff and also do it as fast as possible uh, because there's a problem with uh, trying to do this on your own and that is that you have a lot of blind spots and the reason that some of those blind spots are there is to keep you in your comfort zone because it's easier to stay in your comfort zone than it is to go outside of your comfort zone and and move beyond these unhealthy behaviors. And, and so the thing is, though, is that a blind spot is blind to you. You can't see it. When you're working with a five-star permanent weight loss coach, they will be able to see what you can't see and help you move beyond what you can't see so that you don't keep yourself stuck. Does this make a sense? A little bit, maybe? So all of this, these suggestions that I'm giving you, uh, especially the biggest one here would be making the decision that you're there for yourself and that you are committed to healing your inner self and that you're going to pay attention to how you feel from now on and you are not going to give a concern to what other people may or may not be thinking about you being out in public eating all this food that you're eating and your decision to you know I'm not gonna I'm not binge eating anymore in secret because it's really not a secret anyway everybody knows because they could see it on my body the big challenge here though is that one of the biggest problems that all humans have this is a widespread problem is caring more about what other people may or may not be thinking of you then you care about what you think of yourself especially if you don't even know what you think of yourself because you don't pay attention to yourself you're stuffing all of your emotions and your fears and your uncomfortable thoughts you're trying to stuff it all down with food and your level of self-awareness is so minimal because you put all your focus on what are they thinking what are they thinking what do they think da 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 and and uh you're not going to be able to break free like that so that's another part of the equation and if you care more about what other people think than what you think of yourself then that will stop you from making the commitment to okay I'm not going to do any more binging in secret because I just I, I, I refuse to feel bad about putting food in my mouth and if I want to eat that cake I'm going to do it in public now see if you can really do this if you're able to do this what will probably happen is you'll end up eating smaller quantities, smaller portions of food, and more than likely, you will start releasing fat. So that is a side benefit of this. But um, I don't know, I've kind of given you quite a bit here. Um, the bottom line of all of this, if there's only one thing that you take away from what I've just shared, two things, two things that you could take away from this. The shame will keep you fat. It has to be healed. And the other thing is that you really can break free of your binge eating. You can break free of the, the, the secrecy, the shame, the isolation, the fear, the insecurities, anything and everything that is wrapped up in this food and weight struggle you can break free of these things not overnight it's not going to change overnight but if you start doing the steps that daily daily action steps that will heal your inner self you can get on the path where you are walking towards not just your body at your ideal weight but you at, at, in your ideal self, your ideal you. And that would be a you who feels really good about yourself, who you believe in yourself, you have a high level of self-worth and self-esteem and self-confidence, 
and you're paying more attention to what you think and how you feel about what you're doing in your life than you are paying attention to what everybody else may or may not be thinking. You're in the driver's seat of your own life and your own own body. And that's where you need to be in order to achieve permanent weight loss. But the only way that you're going to be that is you're going to have to do stuff to be that. And the stuff you need to do is not a food diet. The stuff you need to do are the steps that will work to heal your inner self, your inner world to change your inner self programming so that you actually become the you on the inside who is high self-confidence, healthy, fit, beautiful, strong, awesome, amazing, fun, happy, all of this good stuff that is what you are thinking a fit, healthy body would give you. But that's backwards. You need to be all of that good stuff now, even if you're 100 pounds overweight. You need to be and become all of that now on the inside. And then it will be really easy to do the physical things to get the body that matches on the outside. And everyone is doing it totally backwards. They're trying to force themselves to do a food diet to get the body. And they think that the body will give them the happiness and the confidence and the high self-esteem. And it doesn't work like that. They never even get to their ideal weight because they don't have the confidence. They don't have the high self-esteem. They haven't healed the root of the real problem. They're still struggling with food obsessions, food addictions, binge eating, cheating, self-sabotage, you know, all this other stuff because they're going about it backwards and that will just continue to give you more struggle. Is this making sense? What are you getting out of this? Hey, you know what? Here's how you can tell me. Go to iTunes, look up the JoLynn Braley Show, open the show in iTunes, and rate and review the show. And in your review, just write a a little paragraph, you know, one or two sentences. Share what your biggest aha is that you've gotten from the show. And if you want to actually reference this podcast, number 265, tell me what your biggest aha is that you've gotten. That'd be awesome. But when you rate and review the show, then that'll help more people find it because everybody is so wrapped up in diet mentality and that's the diet mentality that, oh, there's a new diet out. There's a new cleanse. Oh, here's some diet pills. And, and uh, oh, here's this workout. And, and it's like you're so stuck in that diet head that isn't working for you. You know, you're still struggling with binge eating, emotional eating, food obsessions, yo-yo dieting. You know, the diet never lasts anyway because it's just a diet, right? And more people need to hear what I'm sharing here on the JoLynn Braley Show to know that there's a reason why they're still struggling because they're doing it backwards. The food diet is part of the equation and it can be a very good part of the equation if you have no idea how to live a healthy lifestyle. If you find a healthy, sane food diet that could be a lifestyle, not just a short-term diet, but it could actually work for you as a lifestyle, a way of living. That's still only 7.2% of the whole equation. 92.8% of the whole equation is your inner game, your inner self. All right. You got to get a weight loss mindset to make the actual physical part of things easy to do. And then you're not going to be, if if you do it like that, if you go from the inside out, then you're not going to be 
binge eating in secret anymore. You're not going to be isolating behind your blinds at home in the dark or in front of the TV eating all kinds of food that you're feeling really ashamed of. Well, maybe in the moment, maybe in the very moment for five minutes, it gives you some kind of relief. It helps you feel better. But then that's just five minutes, you know, the whole rest of the night, the rest of the week, you're feeling like crap. You know, feeling like a failure because you can never stick to your food diet, right? When you go about this from the inside out and you actually heal the root of the real problem, you're not going to be, you're not going to be eating food and feeling like shit. Any food that you eat, you're going to feel fantastic about it and fantastic about yourself because you will be in your own power. And you're going to have to eat food because you live in a physical body, right? But you got to be able to have that healthy relationship with food. And binge eating in secret is not a healthy relationship with food. It's not healthy. It's not healthy mentally, emotionally, or physically. And in the end, it's not a secret. Everybody knows what you are doing. They know what you're doing, so it's not even a secret. You get it? Does it make it sense? It's time for a commercial break on the JoLynn Braley Show. This week's sponsor of the JoLynn Braley Show is my free ebook. You can get it right now at www.easyfunweightloss.com. Go over to www.easyfunweightloss.com. Grab my free ebook. In it, you will get three simple steps to start making weight loss easy and fun from the inside out. They are not food or diet tips. They have to do with your inner world. So you can get that now at www.easyfunweightloss.com. All right, a couple questions to ask yourself. I offer questions to ask yourself on each episode of the JoLynn Braley Show, and it's just a way to, it's just a, it's something you can do if you participate and you grab pen and paper and you write each question down and then you write the answer down, your answer down to each question. It's a way that you can get even more out of this completely free weight loss podcast. I highly recommend that you do use pen and paper because there is a connection that occurs between the head, the hand, and the heart when you write pen on paper. And you don't get that connection if you type on a keyboard. You don't get a connection at all if you just listen to my voice. So you can pause the podcast, get pen and paper, and get the most out of this totally free weight loss podcast. All right, first question. How do I feel emotionally when I'm binge eating in secret, behind the blinds, isolating, hiding out, or in my car, wherever you're doing it? Now, notice this is not what you think. This is how do I feel? feel emotionally when I am binge eating in secret. Now, interestingly enough, you could be so disconnected that you are not aware of how you feel. You're not going to be able to achieve permanent weight loss like that. It's not going to work. So, uh, you know, if you, if you want to work through those things, get coaching with the right coach, get a five-star permanent weight loss coach and, um, you, you got to get to the place where you drop out of your head and you can actually feel what you're feeling emotionally so that you can move through that stuff. And you've got to have tools to move through it, um, especially uh, these, these uh, eating behaviors where what you're doing is you're using food to stuff down your uncomfortable emotions. And so that makes you even more disconnected. But if you can answer this question, write it down. If you, if you, are unaware of how you feel, then just write down that you, you're you disconnected. So at least you have that awareness. If, when you have the awareness that you're disconnected and you, you're not even feeling, you're, you're not paying attention to your emotional state, then at least having the awareness is uh, good because it's a step in the right direction because you've had an awareness and nothing can be changed until you are aware of it. 
Okay, so second question. How do I feel emotionally after I have binged in secret and I'm out and about walking in public? Okay, and so maybe that's not necessarily, it doesn't mean that you you binge in secret and then you run out the door and walk around the block. Uh, you might be binging in secret at night in the at home and then the next day you go to work. Okay, so now you're out in public. So how do I feel walking around in my body? How do I feel emotionally when I'm out and about walking around in my body after I've binged in secret? So are you feeling good in your own skin? Or are you walking around feeling afraid that people are going to notice that your pants are tight? Um, Are you feeling shame about your body? feel like you don't belong, you don't fit in, write down how you feel. And really, not belonging, that's really not an emotion, that's more of a thought. So if you think you don't belong or you don't fit in, how does that make you feel emotionally? So write that down. Number three question, how would I feel if I could heal this behavior? All right, so how would I feel about myself and about my body if I could break free of my secret binge eating for good? How would I feel emotionally? Not what you'd think, but how would you feel emotionally in your body, walking around, about yourself, in your life? How would you feel emotionally about yourself if you could really end this binge eating problem, which means that then you'd have a healthy relationship with food. Wouldn't it be a big deal for you to live healthy and fit? And the fat could come off. The fat doesn't come off overnight. All right. If you're dropping one to two pounds of fat per week, you're doing great. But how would you feel? How would I feel if I could really release this behavior? Number four question, where could I be one year from now if I were to heal my inner self now, do the inner self steps now, and release all, whatever my unhealthy behaviors are that are keeping my body fat, if I could, if I could release these problems now, heal them up, all right? Where could I be a year from now? What would I weigh? What would I look like? How would I feel emotionally? And then you can also add in how you'd feel physically. You know, like what would your energy level be? How would you be moving your body? Would you be riding your bike? Would you be walking? Would you be skiing? Would you be swimming? What would you be doing? You know, what would your relationships look like? Because how can you really have an awesome, intimate relationship When you feel like a failure because you can't stop overeating, how does that work? You know? I mean, all relationships, this is the truth, all relationships start with the relationship that you have with yourself. If you don't have a good relationship with yourself, if you don't have a good relationship with your body, if you're hating your body, if you're feeling ashamed of you and of your behaviors and of your out-of-control injuries, binge eating and um, you're hiding out in secret, you don't want people to know, but they really do know, how can you really have an awesome relationship when you don't have an awesome relationship with yourself? Okay, and then the last question, who's my five-star permanent weight loss coach? Who the heck is my five-star permanent weight loss coach? Who am I working with right now? Who's in my corner? Who is helping me to see the blind spots I cannot see so that then I can become aware of them and then take proven steps to move beyond them so that I can get out of my own way as fast as possible and get on that path where It's no big deal for me to live healthy and fit. You know, I'm not fighting with the binge eating anymore or the emotional eating or the stress or whatever it is. 
Who is my five-star permanent weight loss coach in my corner? Now note that your coach is not your best friend or your mother or your neighbor. Your five-star permanent weight loss coach is a professional trained in the inner world workings, the, the whole inner game, which is 92.8% of the equation. So your five-star permanent weight loss coach is not a personal trainer. A personal trainer's expertise is in the physical side of things. And a, a five-star personal trainer is great to have in your corner when you're not sabotaging yourself anymore with food. Okay, when you've healed your inner self and you're out of your own way and you've released all of your unhealthy eating behaviors, that's the time then to hire a five-star personal trainer who can help you work your physical body out in the right way and get it as fit as you want to get fit and do all of that cool physical stuff. But that again, this is another way that everybody's doing it backwards. They go to the personal trainer and then they go home and binge eat. I've actually had coaching clients who, when they first started working with me in the inner self diet, that's where they were at. And so they, they had a fantastic personal trainer who they were going to every morning and they were getting great workouts and their personal trainer knew the best ways to work out the human body to get the best results but it didn't matter because my clients they were still sabotaging themselves with food at home and so it doesn't matter how many times you go to a personal trainer when you haven't healed what the real problem is you haven't address your inner self, you haven't gotten your inner self on track, you haven't done the inner self diet. You see what I'm saying? Is it making sense? So it's backwards to go to the physical personal trainer first. And again, I, I think that it's clear if you're listening to what I'm saying here, that personal trainers, not saying they're not valuable or they're not good. It's just that you want to put that kind of a professional in the right sequence. So yeah, you get it? Does it make it sense? You get a five-star personal trainer when you've already gotten totally out of your own way. No more binge eating, no more emotional eating. You're living healthy and fit. It's not a fight for you to do that. It's just natural. It flows. Then, to take things to the next level, yeah, get a five-star personal trainer. Absolutely, sure. This has been a very, very full podcast episode. But hey, what did you get out of today's podcast? What did you get out of it? Did you use pen on paper? Did you write the questions down? Did you write your answers down? What kinds of ahas did you get? All right, where are you starting from? Maybe you're starting from a place where you don't even know what you feel, feel emotionally. And oftentimes uh, that, that, can be, that can be very common for binge eaters, emotional eaters, uh, because what you're doing with those behaviors is you are trying to avoid your uncomfortable emotions. And so instead of going there and feeling that stuff, you're eating. But then you get the other problem, the bigger problem, which is the overweight, the extra fat that you don't like, right? So it's, it's really a big mishmash of issues here, challenges, problems. This stuff can be fixed, though. You can only start where you are, and you can only go forward from there. And you can only go step by step by step by step. And when you have a proven system that you are doing step by step by step by step, then you've got the confidence that you're moving in the right direction because of all the other people that have come before you and walked that path, you know? Like I said before, if you are serious, if you're excited 
If you are serious about putting an end to your food and weight struggles once and for all, if you'd love to stop asking yourself, why am I so smart and successful professionally, but never been able to fix my food and weight struggles? You know, I've never been able to figure it out logically. I've never been able to do it on my own. If you want to do it and you want to get it done and you can, you can recognize that you need help, which is very smart, it's a smart thing to reach out and get the professional help to get yourself out of your own way as fast as possible. If that's you, then head on over to www.discovery-session.com and then uh, enter your name and email address there. And then on the next page, you'll be taken to the application form where you can apply to get on a complimentary one-on-one private weight loss discovery session with me. And let's find out what is stopping you personally from dropping the fat and keeping it off. What's standing in your way personally? Let's find out. You can start that process at www.discovery-session.com. Next week's episode of the JoLynn Braley Show really should be a Get Real episode. So I'm just going to warn you right now, if you're going to tune in next week, you're probably not going to like what I'm going to say, but it will not technically be a Get Real episode because I only do one of those per month. Since the first week of January 2013 when I launched my podcast, I have been doing one Get Real episode per month. And actually, those are the ones that are the most popular and those are the ones that everybody tells me they love the most. Uh, But I just do one a month. And this week of January 2008 or the month of January 2018 is a longer month. So long story short, next week's episode is going to be something that you're not going to want to listen to if you want to stay stuck. So don't even listen to it. Uh, But what I'm going to be talking about is how social media will keep you fat forever. And I'm not sure if that's the specific title I'm going to use, but it's going to be something like that. That will be the topic. How social media will keep you freaking fat. It'll keep your body fat forever. And uh, I'm going to tell you all about it next week. But, hey, I'm warning you right now, if you, if you want to stay where you are and keep struggling, don't even listen to it, because you're not going to like it. But, if you are, you know, if you're willing to get honest with yourself and get real with yourself, and you really, really, really want to achieve permanent weight loss, then definitely tune in. That will be episode number 266 of the show, and it's going to be awesome. I'm really inspired to do it. Um, it's going to be cool. Hey, I'm JoLynn Braley, permanent weight loss coach, founder of the kick-ass, amazing, the empowering, the unbelievable to those who have not done it, all right? But to those who have done it and those who are doing it, they get it and they are breaking free or if they've already done the Inner Self Diet, they've already broken free. Anyway, the Inner Self Diet is pretty cool. I'm the founder of it. I'm very, very happy to be providing the coaching service to my awesome five-star coaching clients who want to have the five-star permanent weight loss coach. And they, they really want to end the binge eating, end the emotional eating, end the drama, end the fear, end the struggle so that then they could just live a healthy lifestyle, drop that fat and keep it off. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I wish you your best life while living inside of your ideal body. Yay!